Okay guys, this is the my second review. I wanted to try out another pair of barefoot shoes and these are called the Merrill uh, Sonic Glove. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's hard to read. Anyway, these are called the Sonic Glove by Merrill. And these were about the same price as the uh, stems or lemmings that I reviewed last time. It's about uh, the actually these might be a little more. They're around ninety, ninety-five dollars, and at least where I live, they they were. So first thing I got to say is that be careful when you buy them because I read it on a couple of websites that they're gonna feel a little tight when you get them. So if they feel and that those kind of stretch out and you'll get used to them or you'll break them in. Now guys, I've been wearing regular shoes for like, you know, my whole life and I don't remember having to break in shoes since I was a little kid. But when I heard that and I read it on the internet a couple times, I thought, well, you know, maybe. And when I went to the store, they actually told me, yeah, they're a little tight. Uh, they felt a little tight. So normally I wear you know, 11, 11 and a half, but these are 10, oh, sorry, these are US 11, and usually I'm 11 and a half, but I, they said, well, yeah, they'll stretch, and they felt okay in the store, so just beware, guys, that's my fault, I definitely should have held off and said, well, I'll wait for the size 12, because they don't, in my place, they don't come in size 12, so there you have it, so take that with a grain of salt when I as I keep going about the size they never stretched per se I gave them a shot I wore them a bunch and it just wasn't happening now uh, the tightness is not only in here they Merrill claims that this part that these things are some kind of support which it seems to kind of go against the barefoot idea like technically you're not going to need arch support right your foot is an arch but it feels quite tight in here and even though I loosened up the laces quite a bit I couldn't get used to it it felt like I had a strap on there almost so that being said it could be because they're a little too small for me but I was able to wear them around and the other thing is that uh, the, the toe box could be a little wider uh, after I got the stems, I realized, well, they're quite perfect in the toe box area. Th these are a little bit narrower for what I thought a barefoot shoe should be. But that's just me. I could be wrong. I mean, Merrill is making the shoes, so I guess they've got people telling them what's good and bad. Uh, so anyway, this part is tight, and even Merrill says it's supposed to be on the snug side, I guess that is. But I couldn't get used to it. Uh, the bottom is a nice Vibram sole. It's a bit stiff, like I'm having to actually apply a little bit of pressure to do that, but obviously better than normal sneaks. And mostly I do walking. I do some light sprinting. Well, actually, I sprint about once a week, kind of like interval training. I'm not much of a runner, but I do it in really in bare feet. So I, I do mostly walking. Uh, somewhere around 20 to 40 kilometers per week just walking uh, so that being said the the sole is a little bit on the stiff side and it feels pretty good actually they have a, a nice road feel and you know they're they're pretty good and flexy it's nice the sole feels like it's almost like you got a regular shoe on but the it also has no uh, zero heel differential or at least feels like zero heel uh, so that's kind of nice, and uh, the sole is nice. It was actually a little slippery in the rain. I don't know if that was me or what, but that was a little while ago. I was walking in the rain, and they felt a little slippery. But anyway, it's because it's a quite a flat sole, so that's not a big problem. Uh, nice material, nice breathable material. When I wore them, I believe it or not, I don't totally understand this but one pair of socks I had felt like crap in these shoes another pair 
felt really good and they weren't really much difference in thickness they were just two different pair of socks but there must have been some difference that I wasn't aware of so and that might be again because they're a little small for me and actually they feel quite good without socks as well so you could give that a try if you like these and apparently Merrill has a new line now I don't know if they're even making these anymore but that is something you can check out I'm checking them out I'm hesitating to buy because I kind of got burnt with these I'm not really happy with them I don't like that midfoot kind of support tight it just goes all the way around it just makes it feel like your foot is kind of strapped or wrapped and even loosening the this the loosening the laces didn't help much the uh, the inside as you can see it's got an independent this this tongue bit here is independent but it's still yeah it's independent all the way through oh up to here these straps are connected to the tongue bit are connected to this bit so I guess that's what's helping it stay tight I didn't actually realize that until right now yeah so anyway I guess I should have known the but anyway they look cool that's another thing that's one of the main reasons I bought them is because you know they look like normal sneaks right you can get away with wearing these every day and you know you won't get funny looks and I I still can't get used to not wearing socks and so these feel good without socks but it's gonna be really really hot here soon so it's gonna be a little unbearable I mean you're gonna have sticky feet when you're walking outside in the summer here where it's like in the 80s and 90s with like 80 percent humidity where I live and you know that's like 28 to 30 something Celsius for those of you in Celsius areas, like me. Uh, so anyway, there you go. The Merrill Sonic Glove. Give it a try if you want. Uh, I was just saying, Merrill's got a new line and they look really cool. But I'm definitely going to spend a lot more time trying them on if I buy another pair because they are pricey. And I'm nobody's athlete, so I don't, I'm not sure if I actually need another pair. I like the stems a lot. They're perfect everyday shoes. So that's it for now. Uh, next time, I'm going to get out my Timberlands. I got a pair of Timberlands camp shoes, so-called. And I'm going to review those for you. But that's later. And that's the end of my Merrill review.